Um, they say the wheels of justice grind slow, and there may be no better example of that than the long-running criminal case against Portland real estate developer and political donor Terry Bean. The state actually quietly dropped sex abuse charges last week in a case that dates back almost a decade. Here's Kyla Boshi. In a case with more twists and turns than a Netflix drama series, the long-running prosecution of Terry Bean is over. Last week, state prosecutors quietly dropped sex abuse charges against the Portland real estate investor, civil rights activist, and big-time Democratic political fundraiser. In a statement his lawyer wrote, Terry Bean has continually maintained his innocence and is pleased the state has dismissed all criminal charges. The case goes back almost a decade and involves allegations of embezzlement, lies, and misdeeds. Two lawyers associated with the case are under investigation by the state bar. A police detective was accused of misconduct, and there were claims that Bean tried to pay off his victim. It all started in 2013. Prosecutors said Bean and his then-boyfriend, Kaya Lawson, sexually abused a 15-year-old boy in Eugene. Lawson was convicted of that crime in 2019 and sentenced to two years in prison. But for a variety of reasons, Bean's trial was pushed back. Then in late December, prosecutors said the alleged victim decided he didn't want to take the witness stand, writing, The alleged victim in this matter communicated to me unequivocally that he is relocated out of state and he no longer wishes to participate in this pending prosecution. We don't know if Bean or his lawyer made any payment leading to the dismissal of charges. Nobody would say. Bean is still facing two civil lawsuits in federal court, including one filed by that same alleged victim who's now refusing to testify. Kyle Boshi, KGW News.